979 The Vibes, your girl JJ here. Special guest in the studio today. I love when I have like really super cool people that get to come by the show. Samaya Reese is here. Yeah, thank you for you having me. Oh my God, I love your town. Oh my gosh, H-Town. Houston is, uh, let me tell you, H-Town has definitely been one of the friendliest places oh, I visited. Yeah. Cause yeah. I lived in New York oh, and yeah. I'm from LA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a different world. It's a different world here. Like, yeah, here are really, I love the really vibe. Nice. Have you had a chance to eat yet though? I haven't had a chance to have a really good meal yet, but I'm okay. getting out there. All yeah. Right. Make sure somebody takes you to Papa Do's. They got some healthy I stuff heard. on the menu. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. So far, I've had a chance to see them all, though. Oh, oh Galleria. Goodness. Oh, goodness. That Galleria, girl. You'd be there for like three days. Yes. I <laughs> well, like I'm it. glad that you're here. Thank um, you. Totally done with Love & Hip Hop New York. Mm-hmm. We've moved on from that, right? Yes. Yeah, no I'm in LA now. In LA, mm-hmm. and I have to say, I was watching some of your videos on YouTube, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Dang it, Samaya, you have lost so much weight." Yeah, and people can relate to your struggle. Yeah, if I'm correct, you started off as like size 18. Mm-hmm. Right now, you look like about two. <laughs> So, Everyone says that, but really, I'm a size eight curvy. Really? Okay. Yeah, I am. I'm well, a size eight you medium. are a little curvy. You got yeah. a lot more boobs than what I got <laughs> going on right here. So, um, how how did it happen? Like, when did you get to the point where you said, you know what, and this, enough. Is, yeah. this is it? Well, I've had eating disorders since I was about 14, 15, 16. So I've always been thin for really? the wrong reason. Wow. So I learned how to get skinny very unhealthy either from, I think it was a point I was taking 20 laxatives a night. Really? Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Really Whoa. bad. Um, I was throwing up or I was eating too much. But what was, was it? What was it that? A lot of things that, uh, a lot of things spun me off into eating disorders. So, you know, anywhere from, I had my first boyfriend was a really horrible person. He beat me mm. really bad. He called me fat every day. He oh, said, wow. no man, only him and my father would ever love me. Yeah. And so that starts to get to you at an impressionable age, 14, 15, yeah. you know, it was my first boyfriend. And then, you know, we have family members too that are haters, you know. I just saw a family member not long ago and they were like, oh, the last time I saw you were really fat. See what I'm saying? I mean, you know, that's, I wouldn't say that to someone, you know. I'll say like, you look great. Yeah, yeah. you look great. Um, so I have never had any support and I've had nothing but ups and down so my weight struggles yeah are been very real but they got really real really when I real. gained up to size 18 that was the biggest I've ever been in my life yeah. I didn't even know I can go there All right. but, you know I mean I, I refocused regrouped and I'm back now you know and uh, like I never left but with a better outlook on life yeah so health really the- saved me you changed a lot of your eating habits which we all yeah. know is one of the biggest things when Huge. you think about losing weight Huge. was um exercise what, alone won't do it yeah it won't do it mm-hmm. and it drives me crazy when i see people who are like yeah i'll be yeah, in the girl. gym i'm like but you're eating pizza oh, right yeah. I'm about your workout. it's gotta be <laughs> half and half like, yeah more than half and a half actually it's more they say 80 20 but yeah. i really think it's like 90 10. yeah it's a lot has to do with what you're eating and that's a big piece of what i do and what i promote yeah I have learned uh, when I was young I was a maid growing up with my mom and my Mm. sisters and we had to learn to cook for our you know people that we clean their houses because we had to cook breakfast for them so I learned how to cook at an early age and now I've learned how to make all our favorite dishes yeah a healthy way so you feel like you're eating all these delicious foods that are bad for you but they're not they're really good for you yeah but it you know it takes time to learn not to eat a lot of salt and not to have heavy ice creams and thick lactose ingredients yeah. and it takes time but you know once you get into it you're good like it's all about making those substitutions like it's if all you about like substitutions this, if you like that ice cream then let's try frozen yogurt you know yes. what i mean that yes. has less you can make your own that. i mean i'm teaching people how to, i'm teaching girls how to cook guys how to cook <laughs> okay that's yeah. what's up uh, yeah um so you have uh, a book uh, 30 days to fabulous correct and what does that entail uh, well, number one, I want to tell people the reason why it's called 30 Days of Fabulous, it doesn't take 30 days to lose all the weight, <laughs> oh but God. it takes 30 days of consistently doing something yeah. to turn into a habit that you want to do and yeah. you eventually get fabulous yeah. from it. Yeah. So the book is uh, showing a realistic approach to fitness, which is what I called my brand, This Fits Me. It is catered to do things that fit you yeah so let's say if um you're a mommy with you know only about 
two hours a day of time to yourself. Yeah. That would you be could me. use about, yeah, there you go, 30 minutes of your day, even for a walk, yeah. a quick jog, yeah. a quick little workout at home. Yeah. Because that fits your life. Yeah. And that's what 30 Days to Fabulous is a very realistic approach to fitness. We that's break good. a lot of myths. Uh, cause, uh, you know, wear, wearing a waist cincher is not going to help you lose <laughs> weight. Tell them. Okay. I'm so tired of hearing that gimmick. Yeah. Um, you know, protein shakes alone also won't help you lose weight. Even though I do drink them twice a day as meal replacements, I yeah. still have to work out. Yeah. I still have to have sensible meals. Yeah. And then I have the cooking recipes. All the recipes. Oh, and there's recipes in the book. Lots of recipes. Why didn't I know that? It's about 75% recipes and the rest, very easy to read and understand tips. That's I'm awesome. not selling gimmicks. I'm keeping yeah. it all the way real, including all the crazy things I did. We appreciate the realness, and yeah. that's what we need because that's the we're thing. We're missing that, that. Yeah, because that's In why fitness. people think it's so difficult to lose weight because they see what all these fitness experts and bodybuilders are doing, and yeah. it looks so intimidating. But it's it like, is. no, it's really, and it doesn't have to be. Things. It doesn't yeah. have to be. It's almost like what I call a circus show act. When you see some of the big bodybuilders, like you know, um, on Instagram, let's say, doing all these tricks, and yeah. it's it's a show. That's yeah. not really showing the real people oh, yeah. that have to get up and work. My mother is an example of someone that has had trouble going up and down with her weight because she likes her food. Yeah, she doesn't work anymore because we I retired her. But she now she's like, well, what do I do for fitness? You know, yeah. so. I showed her how to start walking. She yeah. walks a little bit because she has, you know, uh, something wrong with her knees, but mm. she's doing what fits her. Well, that's good. 10 minutes a day of walking, 15 minutes yeah, a day. Gotta so you got to do something. Just do something. Yeah, so that's what I'm going with. Well, good. I'm so proud of you. This Thank is you. awesome. And um, I'm glad. I'm really glad. I'm just going to say I'm just glad that you're not on New York um, Love and Hip Hop anymore because I feel like this is something positive like you need to be in a different type of light not trying to say that that show brought you down or whatever but it's time for something better for you yeah i mean and you know i'd like to say that you know when i was on there as you saw i always tried i tried, tried to be nice <laughs> to everybody I to be nice i mean i tried you know but come on you can't break somebody down every day yeah. call them all these things and then you know what i mean it's too but much. my goal as i was on the shows i'm always a very real person you yeah. know i have struggles i have been homeless i have had nothing every door has been shut in my face yeah. but i kept kicking that door in yeah. no matter what i never gave up and yeah. that's what i want to teach people that's right it's not going to come when you want it no nope. it's when it's supposed supposed to happen and it comes right on and time. i hate hearing that before but i get it now but you get it now i'll get it but now you know i think that's something too that people have to understand and if you are going through a struggle then you won't even be able to appreciate it no. once you get out like everybody who's ever been successful at anything has, has to crazy go through stories. some craziness crazy in stories. order to get on the other side it just happens girl yeah. we can sit and talk about that but. forever <laughs> But okay, tomorrow you are at the Get Fit or Get Fat. Yes. Um, one year anniversary day of wellness. Hello. I cannot wait. I'm going to be hosting along with my coworker mm -hmm. uh, KG Schmoov from Magic hey. 102. Please believe he's Schmoov. Oh, I, 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 I like the Schmoov. <laughs> Schmoov. <laughs> and um, we're ready to have some um, great folks, um, personal trainers that are going to be there to give you guys the scoop on um, health and fitness and the importance of being fit. And then you're going to be there showing your nice hot body. And, and proceeds are going to I me. Mean, Yay! Hello. That's right. The I That's Foundation. very, very, very positive, by the way. Thank and you. And I love that. And Thank I feel you. that we need more people empowering and it's really difficult to being let's say someone like me that's a fit artist yeah. or a celebrity not selling gimmicks right you know what i'm saying it makes right. it even harder yeah. it's like i'm trying to tell people like you guys you know you you can do it this way but, but wouldn't it be easier come on you gotta tell me yeah. some secrets yeah yeah see and that's there what really isn't man i'm telling you and that's, <laughs> i think the biggest thing for me and, and the reason why um this foundation exists mm -hmm. is um especially for me being a radio personality i need people to understand i'm not a walking contradiction you're not going to see that with me yeah, so I if know. i'm telling you you need to be eating healthy you need to be getting fit you need to be doing this then you're not going to hear oh my god jj just went in <laughs> right 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 30 i saw her up. every day at astro burger right <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna see that. So um, I appreciate you being uh, uh, a part of this event yeah. because it's something that people need to see. The tickets are only ten dollars, so if you haven't gotten your yeah, tickets, yeah, guys, yet, if you haven't gotten your tickets, please get them. Get them like yesterday. This is 
bigger too. Like what I tell people, this is bigger than health and fitness too. Yeah. And this is to inspire people, show people how to regain their self esteem. Yeah. How do people lose that? Oh you know, my gosh, and, and yeah. it's it's really I know the feeling, man. I know the feeling. So I'm I'm glad that they chose me to be a part of it because I feel that I'm bringing a very um, a very real story yeah. you know something with integrity something yes. that people can really walk away with and yeah. and say like so tell me the real on this and I'm gonna tell you yeah and I'm glad you know because for you know I was made fun of like on every media blog people yeah. made websites about me when I was big yeah you know this is like to me my big you know almost f you to the world oh yeah for everybody that made fun of me i love that and in it's not in a negative way that i say that yeah. but it's the truth yeah everybody that made fun of me are actually some of those people are asking me for tips Hold now. On. i'm not to, naming any names I'm but you know who you are you know who you are <laughs> i'm about to queue up chris brown look at me now you look at me now look at me now <laughs> So Maya Reese in the studio, thank you so much for joining us today. We will thank see you, you tomorrow. JW Marriott. Oh, can people oh. Yes, tomorrow. I was gonna say also on Sunday, Get Fit or Get Fat is uh, teaming up with me and my personal fitness with friends okay. workout. Oh. So Sunday we're having a workout and if you want to sign up, you go to thisfitsme.com and okay. you can sign up. Oh, good. We already have one full class and we're filling up the second class. Oh, awesome. That's Fitness wonderful. with friends. So we're going to show people how to work out and it's more than fitness. I also teach a class. Oh, nice. So it's what I'll be talking about fitness stuff. So it's tomorrow guys, JW Marriott for Get Fit or Get Fat. Yeah. And then Sunday fitness with friends. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much, Thank Samaya, you. for being Thank here you for today. having me. And thank you for having a foundation that is giving back to real thank people you. that need it. Thank you, girl. Thank you. All right. It's 97.9 The Box.